everyone and welcome to Project Revival. I'm Desiree or Pepsi 101 Loser and today I will be teaching you what I like to call the dot mauve method. It's an alternative to green screening. So if you're not familiar with what green screening is, green screening is typically used, well I think this is how most people use it anyway for when you're when you do movement for a character right and like oh hey this character has a crap ton of layers let's get rid of them by rendering it all with a green screen and then once you've done that you would like add uh some effects uh what what is it called uh I'm not too sure what it's called, the chrome here, you would add the pure green screen and then adjust it so it does, the green screen is no longer there and you can see your background and such. Well, I'm going to be teaching you an alternative to that. I think it's easier and it's a higher quality than green screening and not many people know about this. So yeah. So if you have this green screen on your screen right now, you might as well get rid of that because we won't be needing that. <laughs> so uh, for this method, you'll be, you will be—you um, will need to download QuickTime if you don't have it already. The download will be in the description. I'm not going to walk you through how to download it because for one, I already have it downloaded and it's pretty simple. So. Assuming that you pause the video and you're back, welcome back. So basically, you should already have your movement here, correct? <laughs> if not, go ahead and experiment, do what you gotta do, and come back, because, yeah, <laughs> this isn't a movement tutorial. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I have my little character here, she's moving, this is Natsuki. <laughs> She's doing her thing, and so I'm done with this, and I want to render just Natsuki. So what you're going to do, if you have a background or any objects in the background, make them all invisible. You can do it by just muting the layer or just going up to your main layer, because I parent when I do movement. I assume everyone does this, but um, yeah. So that way you click on the exclamation point and then that'll make only everything underneath the parent visible, which is good. So it'll, it'll have a black background, but you know, for the most part, nothing's behind her besides the black background for the preview. Um, <laughs> so um, go ahead and drag your thing, select what you wish to render, go to render as and then you would go to QuickTime, click on 3 Mbps video, and then scroll down to Customize Template. So you copy my settings, but I'll, I'll still be walking you through. So for frame size, you will make it the highest definition there is. For frame rate, you will change it to 29.970 um, you leave the field order the same your pixel aspect ratio the same but then you go ahead and change your video format to animation click your or change your compressed depth to 32 and then if you wish to save all this you're gonna have to change the name and then push the save template and push OK and then you are safe to render just make sure you um, change your file name if needed okay now that it's all done and rendered go ahead and unclick your exclamation point And you can make this invisible because you'll no longer be needing all the layers or if if you want go ahead and delete all your layers if you don't need them anymore but that's really up to you I recommend backing it up in case something wrong happens so like save it save as a different thing in yada yada uh, that's really a 
up to you but um so go ahead and get what you just rendered and as you will see there is a black background it's not transparent quite yet you still have another step to do so click on your video right click properties disable resample for every time you put a video clip in Sony Vegas be sure to disable resample but anyway <laughs> You go ahead to the media tab in properties, go to the alpha channel, and change it to straight unmatted, and push OK, and now it's transparent, and smooth as well, hooray! <laughs> and you can just adjust it as you would, you can use pan crop, or track motion, whichever works for you. <laughs> and there you go <laughs> so um yeah if this tutorial helped you i certainly hope it did and <laughs> yeah that's about it um thanks for watching if you would like to recommend anything else you would like to see from us that That'd be great, though, to help us out, because we never know what people need to know, you know? So, <laughs> write down in the comments what you would like some help on, and every other Friday we post new tutorials. Uh, this is Des, signing off. <laughs> I'm totally stealing Faith's outro, but yeah. Thanks for watching again.